called Mass Mel, decided that they had a great idea. They are storytellers, oral tradition, storytellers. And they've been doing this for quite a long time, and there's many, many people in the organization. And they thought, what a great opportunity to, to bring storytelling to students, to high school students, 11th and 8th, 11th and 12th grade students, and connect the idea of storytelling to the personal essay, the college essay that you all have to write. Right? And help you give, give you some of those skills that will make that experience more enjoyable, more comfortable, more honest about who you are, about the uniqueness of the two. It's so important to know your own story, to really know what it means. And for a lot of us, telling our story is a way to understand the case because then we hear our own story strung together in a sequence that makes sense. Like I said, storytelling is a way that we make sense of our experiences. So knowing your own story is very important because there are so many people out there who want to tell you what your story is and what it means. The expectation, and this is very important, is that you're going to be telling true stories. So there are two parts of that expectation. One is that it's really important that you tell a story that you're okay with sharing. The other is listening. And the expectation is that we will listen to each other with respect. And that's a very um, non negotiable expectation. And the thing about it is that listening to each other can be, is one of the most powerful parts of story. I grew up in Ohio in a farm that was as flat as this stage. And Bobby was my little brother. Now, I was 16 and Bobby was 8. The farmhouse was surrounded by soybeans and it had wheat. And I would just be bugged by Bobby because I thought, leave me alone, kid. I wanted to go out with my friend. In love with Julia. The problem was Julia was in eighth grade and I was in third grade. And every once in a while I would go to her house and I would um, cross the big streets to get there and go to neighborhoods I was not allowed to go. And I would bring her flowers. Me is learned the hard way. When I was... 16 years old, my parents thought it would be a great idea to give their really irresponsible daughter a white 95 Mustang with a brand new engine and custom rims. I picked Lost and Found because that's what the story means to me. So I was the graduation speaker at my junior high commencement. And afterwards, when my parents took me out to lunch, I thought we were going to celebrate me and all my awesomeness. But my parents had a very different agenda in mind. Karen, they said, we want you to know that your brother's girlfriend is pregnant. You're going to say to your partner everything that they would see, hear, smell, taste, and for you. You only have one minute. The idea is for you to give them as much information, sense on your story, that they will be able to guess. But it's not, a, it's not a, a thing where you want them not to guess. You want them to really feel like it. Yeah, except for one minute. Yeah. <laughs>